May I introduce the Junkyard Dog? Good day, and welcome back to Mike's Radio Repair and Restoration. Today we're going to begin part one of possibly restoring a Holocrafter's SX-43, and I'm calling it the Junkyard Dog, that's for sure. Um, it's in rough shape, folks, um, but we'll go through the motions. Uh, we'll see if it's savable. Uh, I'm not sure I've got my reservations that uh, when I open the hood and I stick my nose in there, all I can smell is burnt stuff. And looking through the uh, alignment holes in the bottom, it looks pretty bad. Um, so I'm not sure if we're going to be able to make it through with this one. Again, you know, we're going to carefully go through our, what I call my step one. And if you wonder what that is, I have a video out there, step-by-step, uh, step how to restore two radios. So you might want to take a peek at that because we're going to follow those easy to follow steps and uh, we're going to apply it to this radio assuming we can restore it so this first one this first step is uh, a basic look over looking for uh, missing parts broken unobtainium those are parts you can't get anymore or anything else that might stop us from uh, from being able to make this a radio again so we'll also be looking at the power transformer and other things so um it's going to be an interesting journey, and uh, by the end of uh, this video, we'll kind of sort of know which way we're going. Um, and if you're following along our program, the steps to uh, restore radio, make sure you're taking safety precautions. There are high voltages in these radios that can be lethal. So if you're following along, you're doing so at your own risk, but please take the safety precautions. The front of it, you know, albeit dirty and very dusty, is complete. All the knobs are there, and that's a huge part of a battle uh, with these radios. Um, next, I'll, uh, I'll flip it over, and I'll see if I can get a photo and put up a photo of uh, what I'm seeing through the, uh, through the alignment ports. And uh, uh, we'll, take a, we'll also take a look under the hood, too, and it, uh, you'll see what I mean. And... Uh, You'll wonder if it's possible to save it. So let's start taking a look and uh, and seeing what we see. Okay, here we are taking a peek under the hood. And right off the bat, rust. Rust. The transformer's rusty. Even the tops of the tubes are rusty. Uh, but from the inspection perspective, what do I see? Somebody has replaced the output transformer already. This is not an original transformer. The wires to the to the uh, panel lights are severely dried, broken. Um, of course, the rust. I see two tubes here. That looks like probably a 6AL5. I'm not sure what this one is over here yet. Um, they're missing their shields. So that's not a big deal. Um, I can replace those. It's not a huge problem, but it's rusty. That's for sure. Um, just one second here. If you look at the back here, I guess these are uh, hot spots from operation. But this tells me that this radio has a, a lot of hours on it. So, I mean, that's another reason that I'm not terribly optimistic about this radio but uh, who knows we'll just keep poking away until uh, until something says stop um, but anyways uh, let's uh, let's slip the cover off but I'm very anxious to see the underside uh, it's going to answer some questions so uh, let's do that next just before we take the cover off I don't know if you can see that these are the alignment holes on the bottom Sorry for the freehand camera work, but you can see that some of those screw heads are, uh, and the washers are very rusty. This doesn't make me feel all warm and cuddly, that's for sure. Let's get the cover off and uh, see what we can see. Okay, here we are looking at the meat and potatoes here. I had a concern about these trimmer caps here. Yeah, they're a little, 
screws and washers are a bit rusty, but they can be taken apart and cleaned up one at a time. It's not a fun job, but it can be done. It's not a showstopper. Um, and of course, you can see here, this is where they replaced the uh, audio output transformer. And they did a, just such a special job at taping up these connectors rather than putting in a terminal block. Wow, we. Um, I've noticed some things here that are concerning. Um, there is a selectivity switch on the front that selects the bandwidth of the IF. One of its contacts are burnt clean off it, which is not a good thing. This domino capacitor is cut. This capacitor is cut. These two little disc capacitors are cut. Somebody's been looking for something in here. And I mean, uh, it's too bad you don't have scratch and sniff screens here because you can just smell the burnt uh, components in this radio. And I'm, I'm guessing that's going to be from that selectivity switch. So if my memory serves me correctly, that selectivity switch connects to the second IF transformer, um, which draws some concern. So I'm just going to pause this video here. I'm going to sit down with the schematic and get my ohms meter out because the only thing that could cause that uh, contact on that switch to burn is something in it, in the IF transformer or around the IF transformer. So like I said, I'm going to get my ohms meter out, get the schematic out, and do some fishing around, and I'll be right back in a sec. Great news! We've reached a milestone with YouTube that allows our subscribers to offer us a great big thanks in the way of a tip. The funds collected from your generous tips will be used to buy more old radios and parts to generate more great content. On a PC, if you click on the three dots in the bottom right corner, you can choose thanks from the menu and choose your tip amount. If you're on a mobile device, again, you can seek thanks in the lower right hand corner. Your consideration and support of our channel is certainly greatly appreciated. I thank all of you that have turned this so quickly into a great community. Well, okay, we're back. Um, the news isn't great. Uh, the second IF transformer, um, it's a double, it's a biggie. Um, one of its windings is a dead short and the other one is open on that same tower that's a bad thing um, in my experience that'll be uh, uh, a cooked transformer for sure um, I, I doubt highly doubt it'll just be a wire off certainly not you know the other one that's a dead short um, I found other things that this capacitor has been cut and other things in this circuit have been cut. That was done to be able to test that uh, IF transformer without anything leaning on it, so to speak. Um, a couple of the resistors are cut down in there as well. Um, so somebody else had figured this out and then uh, slung the radio off for sale. So sadly for me, this is a showstopper. Um, I will not continue with this radio, uh, but you know what? All is not lost. I've been in this position once. I've been in it twice. I've been in it many, many times. Um, this radio, I will close up. It will go into dry storage, and one day I'll find another, and that other will need a part that maybe this one can be a donor, or the other one can be a donor for this one, and I can put one together out of two. I've done this many times, so uh, I'm not crying a tear. Um, I didn't pay a lot of money for this radio. Uh, I don't think I've got $30 in it. So, um, I'm I, like I said, uh, it's not time to, to cry about it. It happens, um, but here we are. Uh, the radio is kind of in rough shape. Um, if it hadn't have been for that, I probably would have gone ahead and restored it. Um, but... Uh, I'm going to need a selector switch. I think I can repair that one. Um, I've got enough uh, similar switches around. I can take a contact off one and use a little watch grade nut and bolt to put a contactor on the selectivity switch is what I'm talking about. So that's not really a showstopper. The wiper in the center is okay. It's the one contact that's burnt. 
but the uh, the RF transformer is a bit of a, a showstopper. I'll have to dig around on eBay, see what I can find. Maybe maybe there's one there that I can uh, uh, dig up or whatnot. Um, but we'll see. Um, but uh, maybe one day. Maybe one day. So sadly, we're going to wrap this series up for now and move on with something else, I guess. So sorry to disappoint, but thank you very kindly for tuning in. Um, you uh, you were most welcome joining this uh, uh, joining us for this postmortem. Let's call this one a postmortem. <laughs> so if you're enjoying the series of video, please uh, subscribe, like, uh, and all those neat things. I'd really appreciate it. So thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you again in the next one.